Welcome to another episode of Out Loud Geek, where we discuss science fiction, fantasy, cooking, the outdoors, and more. So I wanted to come out here and do a short outdoors video. This is these are some small uh, hyacinths that have that are coming up right here. They're a mix of kind of a lavender and a pinkish and a white flower. I looked them up and um, I won't try to say the, the whole name of what they're called, but they're basically, all of them are types of hyacinths. And they actually look really good. They're uh, getting close to their peak bloomage, I think. So at some point, I think these things will probably not be in bloom, but there's the white one. There's the pinkish one again, and the, la and the bluish lavender ones. So they look really good, and they're just, this is just a small clump that grow together, and they come up every year. And here is one of the sedums, like I showed in my previous outdoors video. This one is really starting to get bigger as, uh, as the temperatures warm up out here. So I'm really happy to see that. It should be putting out some really beautiful blooms at some point, though I will have to look up to see exactly when they bloom. I'm not really sure. And then there's this plant, which I want to say it's a phlox. And I want to say that this one puts out uh, some, some pink flowers, but I can't remember if it's this one or a different one. And then over here is the bee balm that survived the winter. And it's coming along nicely. I can't wait to see its blooms come out. This cornflower, which looks kind of dead in the middle, is actually coming up all around. So I think this has survived. This other cornflower, I have been waiting to see if it's going to do something. And way down here, Way down here, it kind of looks like there might be a little bit of growth with here and here. I've been very patient with this one to see if it has survived. So we'll see if this one actually comes out or if those are just weeds, because I'm not really sure on this one. And then here's the other sedum, which is even bigger than the first one that I showed. This one is really very happy right now. I can't wait to see it in bloom again. And this is the other bee balm that survived. I need to prune away this uh, tall grass that's growing around it and last year's dead stems. But at least it survived. It's coming out. So I look forward to this getting bigger and actually being able to do some flowers as well. This is our Japanese maple, which is now completely out. All of its leaves have grown in quite beautifully. And this is pretty much what it looks like throughout the year. It really doesn't put out any blooms. I'm not sure if they're supposed to, but uh, this one never does, but it looks really good in the garden. This hydrangea is getting huge now. So I expect that it should be blooming soon and its blooms are always really nice, these big purple and blue flowers, which I will show. Walking a few feet over to the next plant, this is another hydrangea, but it's younger and much smaller than the other one, and it puts out red flowers. This is a pot of hosses. I had to think for a minute what these are. So these survived, these are coming out, and here's the really big pot of hostas, and they're all doing quite happily. Here is something that's finally starting to come into full bloom. This is the lilac that puts out these really nice purple flowers that are that have these edges in white. So they always look really good and they do have a nice smell to them. And not even all the buds have even opened yet. But they all look really, really good. There's that one. I was also surprised to see that we actually have a lavender in bloom. So these will be, these at some point will attract a bunch of uh, bees, but usually it's this other lavender that really attracts the bees. And this is an older one, it's much larger. 
this thing will be covered in huge flowers in about a month or so. This is another lavender and it's also starting to bloom. And this one will also attract a lot of bees once it gets fully going. So this will have a lot of blooms on it. I'm really happy to see that. And I actually have to make a small correction. Uh, when I did my previous outdoors video, I described these little flowers as being crocuses, and that was a mistake. These are actually another type of hyacinth, and they're not really, they're kind of past their blooming point, but these are uh, grape hyacinths, not crocuses. So I will correct that mistake I made. Thank you for watching today. And thanks to everyone who has subscribed to our YouTube channel. We appreciate your support. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button below and please feel free to share a comment. If you would like to see more of our videos in the future and help support this channel, please subscribe right now by clicking on the red subscribe button below. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter by clicking on the links in the description. Until next time, this is Outlab Geek.